but it's got to be an option for people to vote on. And it comes from the uh, Socialist Party of Great Britain, the Socialist Party of Great Britain, where they lay out the scenario of Jack being a carpenter, his neighbor Jean being a baker. Jean needs her doors tightened. Jack says he'll fix them. Jean says she'll give him some cakes as a thank you. So the funny part about this was the self own. I even circled down at the bottom. They got 86, 86 just standard retweets on it, which means kind of like, oh yeah, I want to get this message out there. And then they got about 1600 quote tweets. And most of them are people making fun of them because what they just described was free trade, bartering, and essentially the basis of capitalism. Not socialism. Not not yeah. socialism. But 86 people were just as dumb as they are, so. That's pretty pretty good numbers, I yeah. guess. Mm -hmm. Now, we're just, number one is just going to be Socialist Party of Great Britain, SPGB. All right, so they got a few things. A person on here said, that sounds more like a religion than an actual economic system. How do you address scarcity? So someone wants to know about scarcity. So is they're it, actually having a conversation on under this? Oh, they go, they they comment back and forth quite a bit we've we've gone back and forth with them a bunch oh god i can't believe they just didn't delete it oh no it's it's out there they're trying to fix it today that's the last part of them they tried to okay. revise they tried to revise history just a little bit um they say scarcity can already mostly be ended mostly the only reason people die from hunger deprivation treatable diseases dirty water etc is because capitalism produces for profit and people are too poor to buy what they need. Socialism will end artificial scarcity and produce an abundance. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So scarcity, the idea that we don't just have every single thing that every single person wants and needs, that can already be in there right now. And all the stuff that we've produced and invented would just magically happen. You would still would have happened mm -hmm. for sure. They literally, the, the only reason people are dying from hunger and treatable diseases is because of capitalism. And this goes back to that thing where you can take every single death, basically all the deaths, unless it's old age, are because of capitalism. But they won't even take that 100 million number from, from socialism because that's not real socialism. Mm, that's right. <laughs> uh, continuing on with SP. But also, I mean, real quick, also, yep. like, you, like you said, we just assume that all of this stuff would still be here, you know, like... We still have diseases out there that aren't treatable because somebody hasn't come up with a treatment yet for them. Why don't the socialists just do that? I don't know. That's 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 the biggest like, thing. There are socialists out there. Why haven't they just cured more diseases? Cancer should be done. They cured cancer. They should make some sides. <laughs> they need more sides. <laughs> okay, after that. Now, this is one to their, uh, you know, just to give them some credit. They deleted this one. I happen to have it in an email I sent myself. So luckily it was still there. But when I tried to get it, it's gone. All right. As 99.999% as of today's crimes are down to capitalism, there would be no real need for police and judges in the role they have today. This is under, under socialism. There may well be socialists who are trained for the rare occasions when serious crimes or situations that require such people might occur so all all almost all yeah. except for 0.001 percent of crimes are because of capitalism that's it so they're not going to have police and judges but they will be people that are trained to take care of those situations when they do occur i guess they just won't call them police and, and judges lots of training yeah mm -hmm. There'd be no knees on necks or <laughs> anything like that no be, it would be it would be a very nice. Which, honestly, how much training does it take to put someone in a gulag anyway? Like, the, there's, you can get anyone to do that, <laughs> honestly. And then uh, they revised their latest tweet because it did go pretty viral. I even saw Ben Shapiro retweeted it <laughs> um, yesterday. So they revised that first one. And they said, so Jack's a carpenter. His neighbor, Gene's a baker. Gene has some doors with loose hinges. Jack says he'll fix them and doesn't want anything for it. I don't Just want anything. Compassionate neighboring. Yes. Gene says she'll give him some cakes anyway as a gift, even though she doesn't have to. How can anyone think that that's capitalism? <laughs> so, 
what they did was they've changed the situation now to where Jack says, no, I don't want anything. I'm going to do it completely for free. And Gene says, sir, I will not allow you to do this for free. I must give you this as a thank you. And that is what they say will occur under socialism. Now, that's, that's not what they said in the, in the first tweet. They said, Jack can fix this. And Jean says that she'll give him a cake as a thank you. But now that everyone clearly tore that one apart easily, um, they, they've changed it. Okay. Just a, just a little bit. All right. It's still capitalism, by the way. It's still, it is. It's, it's, it's still voluntarily trading. Now, what they're, what they're assuming here, they even put in the pictures. Fixed for free. <laughs> Given as a gift. Did they pay gift tax on that? <laughs> you see, I think anytime you go to Starbucks. So now know, Jack has to pay gift tax. I give Starbucks pay. a gift of $5 for the coffee. You know, They give you the coffee for free. And the coffee's free. <laughs> now what they're asserting is that Jack still would have fixed the door for free. But you went down the line on this yesterday and said, well, Jack knows a lot of people that need their doors fixed, you know? And Jack has needs too. Let's not forget men have needs, ladies. And Jean understands the needs of a man. Trust me. Okay. That's why she has all that cake. <laughs> and so um, would he still go fix it for free? Maybe he might fix jeans, but what about the next person and the next person? And what if someone in that neighborhood doesn't know how to tighten up hinges? All right. What if it's a full neighborhood full of women, you know, and they just can't figure it out. They're just a bunch of cake bakers, and that's all they know how to do. No one can tighten a hinge on a door with a screwdriver. And they say they don't need men. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, dumb bleep number one, Socialist Party of Great Britain. Yeah. We appreciate, as always, the free.